What's wrong with the Arizona Cardinals? I'm going to tell you in this video. And what do the Dallas Cowboys need to do to make it to their first Super Bowl since 1990-something? And finally, how you get paid to watch this one. Let's get it. This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports. Welcome to Enough Said Sports where we don't do fandom, we do business, and we don't make friends, we make money. Thanks as always, guys, for joining us here and supporting us on YouTube. This is a going to be a preview and prediction video here in the National Football League for Week 17. It's going to be the Arizona Cardinals going up against those Dallas Cowboys. If you like this sort of content, please also join us on Patreon. Click the description box below. Click that first link. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports and definitely get all of our exclusive content from the NBA, NFL, and college football. And also, if you want to enter for your chance to win a jersey of your choosing from the NFL, college football, or the NBA, check out the details right above my head here and definitely join us over on Patreon to get your chance to win. Thank you, guys, as we move forward into this particular contest. It's going to be in the new year. It's going to be on January the 2nd, Sunday, 425 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Dallas Cowboys are favored in this one by three, and the total is 50. So let's start out with these Arizona Cardinals and what the heck is going on with these Arizona Cardinals. They started out the season red hot. They played extremely well early on and they have hit a rough patch. They have definitely been struggling in the past several weeks. They've definitely not been looking as good as they've looked in the beginning part. Of There's a couple of things that are factoring into that, obviously. We'll start out with the injuries. I think missing, obviously, DeAndre Hopkins being in and out of the lineup is a big loss for this Arizona Cardinals team. And then just also the inconsistency. And I'm about to get into that more right now in talking about Kyler Murray. The, the same thing that makes Kyler Murray a tremendous football player is also his greatest weakness. His ability to create extra time in the pocket, to get outside of the pocket, create bigger plays downfield, also using his legs to great with great regularity, his quickness, his speed, his acceleration. All of those things are excellent, and that all those things have led to the Arizona Cardinals being as good as they've been so far this season, but they've also led to the woes that they've had as of late. Kyler Murray has a problem turning the football over, doesn't know when to say when, had a had an issue in this past game where he throws the ball in the end zone, intentional grounding, doesn't get out of the pocket, just from creating, trying to create extra time in the pocket in order to get the ball down the field. But, you know, in a, in a situation like that, Kyler Murray has to just eat that ball as far as just throwing that, getting rid of the ball quickly, knowing the situation that you're in, get rid of the football, throw it at the feet of a receiver before you get yourself in any kind of trouble, cause the safety there. They weren't able to recover. They end up losing to the Indianapolis Colts last time out. It's really, really unfortunate for Kyler Murray and the crew. This is an extremely talented football team led by Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury there at the head coaching position. They have an explosive defense. They have an explosive offense. They just got to turn, quit turning the ball over. Kyler Murray has – as of late, unfortunately, been turning the football over with greater regularity than he did in the beginning of the season. And that right there in itself has led to this team, coupled with the injuries, led to this team struggling the way that they have. Even with the injuries, if Kyler just takes care of the football and just knows that when to say when, his decision-making just has to be a bit better for this Arizona Cardinals team in order for them to be able to overcome the woes that they've had as of late and be able to get themselves back to that early season form and possibly make a run all the way to the Super Bowl. This team is very much alive. This team has all the talent in the world, and they got a ton of weapons, and they definitely can bounce back from this. Now, switching over to the Dallas Cowboys, obviously, ever since Dak's calf injury, they've not been – quite themselves here. Uh, the game with Washington is about to be in progress, so they're going to play here in week 16. So I'm doing this a little bit early uh, as for the preview and prediction in week 17. Obviously, it's subject to guys always look out for COVID, anything like that. 
uh, coming up and, and affecting the, the game, the outcome of the game. But with all that being said, guys, Dallas hadn't, hadn't been themselves either. I believe that Dallas, the key to Dallas being able to make a run to the Super Bowl lies right underneath center. That is going to be Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott must play better. He's got to play better football. He hasn't been himself, been a little bit late on reads, and, you know, he's got to be a bit better. I think the other key to the Dallas Cowboys being able to actually make a Super Bowl run is going to be C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb's got to play better. C.D. Lamb has to quit dropping footballs. C.D. Lamb dropped a ton of passes against the New York Giants a couple weeks ago or a week ago, and it's definitely something that's really hamstrung this offense. Drop passes really, really, really affect an offense and messes up the flow of the offense, and C.D. Lamb's got to be better. I believe Dak Prescott will be better served to get the ball more to Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper come out in the media this week expressing some frustration about not getting the football more. We'll see what happens tonight. But nevertheless, they're really going to have to start to get the ball to Amore Cooper more often, more early and often in order for this offense to maximize itself. And CeeDee Lamb's got to clean up the drops. They got to run the football a little bit better. And so this is a run blocking offensive line. They need to run a little bit better. Zeke looks like he's running in quicksand a little bit. And, you know, I think they might even need to mix Tony Pollard in there a bit more because he's a bit more explosive. I know he's a little banged up as well, but at the same point in time, I think he gives you that home run hitting ability that you need in order to possibly make a Super Bowl run. Now, as for the prediction in this particular contest, the Arizona Cardinals have obviously been on a slide. They're three-point underdogs here on the road. The total is 50. I like the Arizona Cardinals to bounce back here. And it's not any slight against the Dallas Cowboys. I think the Dallas Cowboys are an excellent team. I think the Dallas Cowboys may play very well in this particular contest. I just believe that the Arizona Cardinals are going to be in a very, very foul mood. They've lost a couple of games that they should not have lost. I think that they're going to be ultra-focused, laser-focused on playing an an entire four quarters. Murray is going to clean clean his act up a bit. I think they're going to be much, much better than they have been in the past couple of weeks. And I like the matchup against the Dallas Cowboys, quite frankly. I believe that they're, that Kyler Murray will be able to, to exploit this defense to, to great effect, although they are they are playing very well and they will turn you over. And that's something that Kyler Murray has been struggling with. But at the same time, I think he's going to be able to take advantage of an over-aggressive Cowboys team rushing up the field. I think that that's going to be a major factor in this game. That's something that Kyler Murray generally feasts on is teams that overrush up the field. I think he's going to be able to create extra time for himself to run the football and also to push the ball further down the field. I do believe they'll also have DeAndre Hopkins back. I think that'll be another huge factor for this team, another big boost. But either way, whether DeAndre Hopkins plays or not, I like the Arizona Cardinals in this one, and I like them in a tough one. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be relatively high scoring, and I think it's going to be a slugfest, an offensive slugfest between these two teams because I believe Dallas will also be able to take advantage of some of the things that Arizona does defensively. I think that Dak will be able to exploit them down the field a bit, and I think it's going to be a heck of a show and a really, really good game between these two teams. They both have a lot to fight for as they try to jockey for positioning as far as seeding is concerned in the NFC playoffs. So I'll go with Arizona plus three. I'll go with Arizona to win on the money line, and I'll go over 50 total points. Arizona Cardinals fans, tell me, guys, do you think what do you think the issue is? Do you think it's because Kyler has been turning the ball over so much, or do you think it's purely the injuries, or do you think it's a little bit of both? Cowboys fans. What do you think the key is going to be for you guys to make a Super Bowl run for the first time since the early or mid-1990s? And finally, guys, let me know what you think about the pick itself. Really appreciate all the support. Couldn't do it without you. And again, if you like this sort of content, join us on Patreon. Click the description box below. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports and get all of our exclusive content and get the age your bank account needs. Thanks as always, guys. Appreciate all the support, and I will talk to you again really soon. Take care.